I try to sum up a few more of these questions here. Um, one of them uh, quotes uh, a quote that often goes in a, a, a magazine in the Hungarian Greek movement called Gaia, which says that the Greek movement is the enemy of nature if it doesn't um, question the core issues, the central issues, the most important issues. What do you think are the most important, most immediate core issues for the social movements or the Greek movements? Um, that's one question. Another one is, uh, if you were 25, 30 years old now, wouldn't you be afraid to have children? Um, uh, what, what do you think are the prospects for the coming 30 years? So partly answered that, but can reflect on it uh, now as well. And um, this simply asks, okay, our slogan is, another world is possible. What are your um, practical... Um, Hints for changing the world. What do you think we should do <laughs> as activists? What are the most important things to do? Most well, that is very much like the first question, like what are the priorities? I, I don't see how any... I mean, I can tell you what I happen to be concerned about, but there's no reason why it should be what you're concerned about. I mean, what your priorities are depends very much on your circumstances and your interests and your concerns and who you are and, you know, what you're where you want to impose, put your focus, your activity, and so on. I mean, there's any number of problems, all of them crucial. Like we've been talking about some, which are so crucial that they may determine whether the species survives. You know? uh, uh, and, uh, and there are others that uh, just permeate everybody's life, uh, like uh, racism and sexism, for example. They just permeate everybody's life. They show up all over the place. They're obviously major issues. Uh, and you can continue for a long list. Which are the primary ones? You know, there's no way to rank them. I mean, they all are inter interrelated. You work on the ones that somehow you feel you can do something about, uh, but uh, no point trying to rank them. Uh, what about having children? Well, you know, those of you who are my age will remember that it was a question then too. Uh, in the 1960s, there were my children, the children of my friends, uh, many of them thought they weren't going to survive. Uh, the dangers looked so severe that there were plenty of, uh, you know, there were plenty of children who just became suicidal uh, because it looked like there wasn't going to be any way to survive. Uh, well, you know, by now the problems are more severe. Uh, how do you deal with it? Well, you don't solve the problem by not having children. You know, one way to ensure that the species doesn't survive is not having children. Uh, so that's not a constructive answer. Uh, but to try to create a world in which your children or grandchildren uh, have a decent chance to survive, you know, that's a major problem, but that's the other one again. Uh, where do you attack it? Well, you know, where do you feel you can? Uh, I mean, the entire structure of state corporate capitalism, including its ideology, is very destructive. In fact, even self-destructive, because it has built-in tendencies towards real catastrophe. And, uh, and then it spreads out to the whole array of you know, problems of life. I don't know how to prioritize them. <laughs>